In this video, I wanted to talk about using the N4PY software in the Tentec Omni 7 as a shortwave listening receiver. The Omni 7 is a pretty nice shortwave receiver, and the N4PY software has features built into it for shortwave listeners. And in this video, I'm just going to go over those features and uh, hit the high points. Which is, this won't be a long video, but we'll hit the high points and uh, show you some of those things. So the first one is this row of buttons, band select buttons, and of course you, when you click the button it'll tune to that some frequency within that band. You can change these. When you install the software, these buttons are already assigned to some of the shortwave bands, but you can change, change them by just going into the settings menu, choosing the SWL band assignments, and then you'll see this screen with the three columns uh, of entry fields here. So the first column is for signing the caption to the button. Second column is for signing the lower limit, frequency limit for band. And then the third column is for signing the upper frequency limit for that band. And then the bottom field is for naming the column. And when you do that, when you enter these frequency ranges and then you tune to that band, you'll see in the slide rule window that the frequency range is highlighted in red and you'll see that the band name or whatever the caption is is displayed in the middle of the range so this gives you a visual indication of the band and where the edges are the received audio filter on the Omni 7 can be widened out to 12 kilohertz so if you've got a good speaker, a good sound system, and a nice strong signal, uh, you're listening to music or uh, news reports, whatever, um, you know, the radio sounds pretty nice uh, when conditions are right. And of course you can change the filter setting. You can make it as narrow or as wide as you like. Now I think through the buttons, oh, there we go. You can't assign 12 kilohertz to a button. So you can change these filter settings on the fly. So that you can just click on the button to assign the filter. So I'm going to tune down to the bottom of the band and let's unmute the speaker and see what we can hear. It's about 11 p.m. on a Wednesday night here. So there's WWV, of course, on 5 megahertz. In the last generation, in the last time, we said to meet your God, my mother. One of the things you can do if the signal seems to be fading is you can select this mode here that says SAM. 
I suppose that stands for synchronous AM, but according to the documentation, it's really not synchronous AM. It turns on the BFO and sets the tuning steps to 1 hertz so that you can zero beat the signal. And according to the documentation, uh, that can really alleviate some of the signal fading. And it will change the f fidelity of the received signal a little bit, but, you know, if there's a difference between fading and not fading and you'd rather not listen to the fading, then you can always choose this mode. So we'll do that now. In the high desert and the great American Southwest. I bid you all good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Whatever the case is, wherever you are in the world, this is Midnight in the Desert. I'm Arthel. Welcome to the program. This program is free to end. We appreciate those of you who join the time travelers and then are able to download programs anytime they want. Send me messages on the ever-present wormhole. And so forth. The rules of the show are simple. Only two of them know bad language. Only one call per show. No bad language from all per show. That's it. Now, I like to thank people... So you can play with that function, see if it does any good for you or not. Um, but it's there if you need it. Now, uh, let's talk about memories. So you can assign uh, different frequencies to memories and give them names and uh, indicate what country uh, that station or that frequency is for. I'm not going to go into how to assign uh, a frequency to a memory, but if you turn, if you if you do that and then you s click the auto tune, whenever you click on a frequency in the in the memory window, it'll tune the radio to that frequency. And if it's named, it'll show the name up here as well. The radio comes with several memory files. One of them's called W or I'm sorry, World dot rmy and that's what this one is this one was supplied with the software and i just opened it and displayed it here in the window and it's uh goes uh all the way from the broadcast band up to 28 megahertz here and you can store as many as far as i know you can store as many frequencies in a memory file as you as you can get in there or you can make several memory files, you know, uh, however you want to organize the thing. And then the last thing we'll talk about is the sweep window. So the Omni 7 doesn't have a real time band scope, but what you can do is you can assign a frequency range uh, that you want to sweep. And then uh, starting, so if you turn this down, starting at 5 megahertz and then you do a sweep uh, in this instance the sweep range is set to 300 kilohertz so it'll sweep 150 kilohertz on either side of the frequency that's tuned in so we can do that now let's unmute the receiver and that was pretty noisy I think you can uh, I think there's a setting somewhere that'll let you mute the receiver during the sweep. And it sounds like I need to turn that on. But once you see the uh, signal shown here, you can just click and go there. Now, special access programs are said to be to a greater portion of the planet than at any other time in history. So that's how that works. At the tone, four hours, five minutes, coordinated universal time. All right, so my clock, my computer clock's about seven seconds off. I haven't set it to a time standard recently, I guess. So those are some of the features uh, of the N4PY software and the Tentec Omni 7 for shortwave listening. And I hope you enjoyed the, the video. 
and thank you for watching.